evening, Sanbonani, and welcome. My name is Joanne Renika, and I am your host. You're watching Single Parents Looking for Love, the only show in SA where single parents try their luck at love. On the show, Sipete Uput Erik. He is a 32-year-old single father of two. We have prepared three suitors for Uput Erik to choose from that have specifically been chosen based on his preferences. And by the end of the show, he will hopefully leave with one very lucky lady. He will be receiving advice from our very interesting panel of kids and his ex. Yes, we have brought the ex Kaput Eric to come in and share her opinion about who she thinks is best suited for Kaput Eric and his needs. Let's meet our single parent. Hi, my name is Eric. Um, I live in Samrent, around Centurion somewhere. I'm 32, I'm a father of two. I'm a former IT consultant, currently a carpenter. I like traveling. I'm an adrenaline junkie. I, I'm into bikes, I do skydiving, bungee jump, you name it. My previous relationship didn't work out uh, with both my, um, my children's moms. Um, first baby as a kid straight out of varsity. So yeah, let's just say I messed that one up royally. Um, then there was uh, my ex-wife. Um, I know, I'm 32 and divorced, strange, but don't judge me. I've been evaluating, you know, I've been getting over what happened. And yeah, I've been healing and I feel like I'm, I'm ready to explore options, see what's out there, you know, find a stepmom for my kids. So Puti, how long have you been single for? Oof, it's been a while. Eh? A couple of years? No, man, months. Months? <laughs> <laughs> how many children do you have? Um, two. Two babies? Yeah. Same uh, baby mama? No. No. That's when things get a little tricky. Yeah, it's a little complicated. In any relationship, you have No, it's uh, pretty decent. Eh? Okay. We, we, talk, we, we talk quite often. We, we good, we good. Okay. And if you don't mind me asking, well, I'm sure Song is from Gwazi. If you have a relationship with your mom, you Ooh. Let's just say I wasn't a great guy. You know what I mean? I made a couple of mistakes and yeah, hoping to learn from them. Oh, that is <laughs> so refreshing. Because we don't have a mom because mostly we play my team. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I've got myself to blame for this one. In a partner, a potential life partner, what are you looking for? Uh, listen, I don't really have a set criteria, you know what I mean? We get, we get to meet each other, we get to understand what makes each other tick and, you know, it really, it's not about the physical appearance. It's a bit lonely out there. It's, it's lonely. Hi South Africa, my name is Kinele Lebaya. I'm from Bloemfontein and I'm 28 years old. Kinele is an extrovert. And Canelo has a kid. He's actually one year, 10 months. Yes. I love spending time with my son, like taking walks actually, listening to music, old school music, your Barry White, your OJs. I've been single since 2017 when I fell pregnant. I told my boyfriend, then he just changed. I'm 29 years old. I'm a project manager by profession. I stay in Benoni and I work in Medrand. We manage uh, software development projects, uh, mobile apps. Oh, I love traveling, I love cooking. Uh, cooking is my passion, I actually do it on the side. I've got a catering company. I love reading. Uh, cricket, F1, my fave. Hello, yeah. how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm quite surprised to see this beautiful lady sitting there. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, I have competition here. There is no competition, but she is pretty. I'm 33 years old. I'm originally from Pretoria. I'm based in Joburg, and I'm an assistant fashion stylist. I'm fun. I'm a bit loud sometimes, but I'm a hard worker. I'm a single mother, so I'm very disciplined to a certain degree, and I'm smart. I have a beautiful daughter, her name is Tara, and she's in high school, she's 16 years old. 
Chubby. I see the girls. They, they, they've got nice personalities. They're amazing people. But end of the day, we're here for one thing, and which is the main guy. I don't know what connections they have with him, but I'm hoping that I'm the one that has the most connection with him. Uput Eric is about to meet his three suitors for the first time. He's going to have some one-on-one -on -one dates with all of them, see which one he likes, and hopefully by the end, one will be a winner. I'm voting for love. Makumutand. Um. Hi, how are you? How's it? I'm good. I'm Eric. Can you? Can I Can I Can you have a sit? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sharp, Sharp. Looking good, eh? Thank you. <laughs> hey, man, she's quite awesome. I like the way she walks. I like her smile. She's beautiful. Natural hair. Ah, sorry. Thank you. Hi. Relax. Calm down, relax. Yeah, I'm calm, I'm calm. He's <laughs> good. You look so good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I don't know if I'm blushing, if it shows that I'm blushing. What's up with you in Cup 11? <laughs> the lead to couldn't have been that bad. No, well... Let me not judge. I mean, <laughs> Got hit by a train when I told him I was pregnant. But his what? body's still in Bloemfontein. He's hold up, hit by a train. I had to I got And is that because Laluana or he just doesn't want to be there? He doesn't want to be there. He hasn't even seen his child, so That's he's it. not there. Mm. Okay, he's not there. He yeah, no. so he, he's not even a factor. What's going to set me apart from the rest is basically my personality. Um, I'm a very fun person. I'm very adventurous, very creative as well. Tell me about yourself. I'm the fool. <laughs> <laughs> what are you do? I'm a project manager in IT. Interesting. Um, I come from an IT background as well. Mm -hmm. uh, BSc, Com Science. Okay. She's beautiful. No, she's calm. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good to you. I'm Eric. It's very so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Ooh, so weird. I haven't done this dating thing in a while. <laughs> How long? Oh, gee, a couple of months, eh? How long is a couple of months? Uh, I think it's a track. Yeah, two, three months, maybe. Is it? So you think you're ready to get back into the dating world? Uh, just three months. I needed to understand what type of a person he is and if he's emotionally available because end of the day, this is a potential partner that's also going to meet my daughter and stuff like that. How long do you take to recover? <sighs> Takes probably six months to a year. So you've been single for about six months to a year now? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what happened in your previous relationship? He lied. Did you decide to he walk? lied and he cheated, and that's like a no, no for me. I can't. I enjoyed uh, our conversation. She's a great lady, beautiful and tall. I uh, need to wear boots around her, but yeah. You're in single parents dating. Um, why? No, no, I'm not a parent. I'm not a single parent. I'm not a parent. Yet. Yeah, I just assumed. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. You're not a parent at all. No. Like I've raised so many kids, you know, kids that are not my own, kids that I've adopted from the location. And why was it so joy? Like, it's yeah. two years, eh? <laughs> well, I think it's not the, you know, relationships, but nothing serious. Nothing serious? Yeah. I'm going to go to so I'm to something stable. Yeah, no, I understand. Can I live out with you? So can you imagine what the first aid always looks like? <laughs> yeah, no, I yeah. kids got two. Same woman. Oh. <laughs> Lena, are you giving me the No, look? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but mm. yeah. No, no, I, I, I have my it's word. life, man. It's life. It's understandable. So, uh, at least you've got that understanding. Yeah. If the two baby mamas respect me, I can respect them as well. I don't have a problem with two baby mamas. If they play their own role, I'll also play my role. So you were married for how long? Two years? Can I, can I not answer that one? <laughs> Why not? It wasn't long enough. It was embarrassingly short. <laughs> Kids are the biggest critics. I'm really sorry. You can't sit on the couch. Oh, <laughs> did you date him for love or money? Uh. We are going straight into our first elimination. Good luck, Sudis. Elimination. 
It's a difficult choice between the three ladies. I'm gonna unfortunately have to let go of uh, contestant number all right, now that we've gotten to meet our single parent and our suitors, the game starts to get interesting. Personally, as a single parent, I know that the toughest part of dating is trying to find someone that the kids will approve of. The kids we have in our interview room is Joshua, Caitlin, Zandi M, and Zandi E. We've asked them to prepare a few questions to ask our suitors, and we want to hear from them. And maybe who's best for Ubud Eric. Hi. Hello. How are you? My Good name thanks in yourself. Oh, thank you. I'm Bushe. Your name goes with your looks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the kids are really, really awesome. I like your fashion. Thank you so much. Very stylish. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. I'm very nervous because, you know, kids are the biggest critics. I'm really sorry. So sorry. You can't sit on the couch. Oh. oh. You see that little, that very uncomfortable chair there? Oh, so The one sorry. that does not look nice. <laughs> the okay. one that, yes, that's where you sit. Okay. So sorry. I like your earrings and your afro. I love kids. In your previous relationship, did you date him for love or money? Uh, well, both. I could say both. Hi, bro. Shinibo. That was the most interesting question. Let's say he was texting his ex. Okay, what would you do? Okay, first of all, I won't look at his phone. So I don't think I will know that he's texting his ex. So I respect his space and I expect him to, to respect my space as well. I'll just listen and understand the situation first. Okay. <laughs> before I take out my guns. Okay. <laughs> if he's fighting with the baby mama, what advice would you give him to solve the problem? I would want to hear both sides before I can actually like intervene. And sometimes it's not your place. The kids were very brutal with their, with their questions. His child breaks your phone. Whew. I'd be upset, I don't want to lie, but not to the point where I now have to shout and you know, be a horrible person. Phones are replaceable. Will you discipline <coughs> his children if he lets you? I prefer talking. Bank them while they are. Thank you, thank you, do that day. I love the kids, man. Hello, junior detectives. Hello. How do you feel about yourself? I feel yes. good. What did you think of uh, lady number one? Yeah. Really? Yes. What did you like about her? She, she's kind, I can see that she loves children. So what do we like about lady number two, other than having guns? <laughs> I don't really think she has guns. I, I like her fashion choice, okay. I like her funniness. I like the way that she's also cool, but she's also disciplinary. Ooh. So she's halfway. Zandi, give me your take on suitor number three. I liked her, yeah. she was nice, but... What's your butt, baby? Very oh, good she's not my favorite. Mm, my favorite is the second suitor. You like number two, Mrs. Yes. Afro. Yes. Well, thank you, my detectives. But Eric, you've heard the kids. Yeah. They can only share their opinion. They cannot pick for you. Certainly. That is all up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to go into our first elimination? Yeah. yeah. Clear head? Yes. Clear head. Flash. All right. You heard from the kids. You heard from Eric. We are going straight into our first elimination. Good luck, sweetie. Elimination. <laughs> it's a difficult choice between the three ladies, but at the end of the day, it's the rules of the show. One has to go. Welcome to our first elimination. Now, Eric, earlier you got to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with each of the ladies, got to know them a little better. Then you got to see them hold their own against our panel of very clever kids. So right now, I'm gonna hand it over to you. Talk to the ladies and then let us know who you're letting go. It's very difficult. Um, I'm gonna unfortunately have to let go of uh, contestant number three. Sorry. That's um, Bushi. I don't know. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but um, my preference is towards someone with uh, a baby or babies already, you know. At least they've got that little parenting experience. Thank you so much, Sis Wichle. Thank you. Oh. I sort of felt kind of relieved, you know, um, because when we went on the date, 
Yeah, I didn't feel the chemistry from the guy, you know. I, I couldn't feel us clicking. How are you ladies feeling right now? Uh, nervous. Nervous? Excited? Excited. Not nervous, but excited. Yeah, there's a bit of excitement and nervous. Well, if you were nervous, I'm about to add a little bit more to your nerves. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Now, somebody that's very important to Eric, someone whose opinion he he values quite a bit okay. is the person you're about to meet, and that is Eric's ex and mother of the child. I'm like, okay. Can Unontobego please join me? Okay. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> baby mama, okay, baby. <laughs> Come and stand right next to the potential stepmothers. <laughs> <laughs> the baby mama, I don't have a problem with that. I actually wanted to see the baby mama. Nice to meet you. <laughs> right, now we are going to let you three ladies head into the house of love where Osis Nontobego has got some very special questions that she's put together. And uh, we're going to get your opinion to him after you speak to the ladies. The kind of woman I would like my son to surround is a woman that um, responsible respectful, and she must respect me. All right, thanks. Good luck. Yima, yima, shh. <laughs> oh, that is a very nervous moment, you know. Um, I'm wondering what's going to be going on in there, you know. Hopefully no deep secrets will be revealed. All right, Eric, it's just you and me now. Yes. Come, let's just sit down. Take the load off, it's been a big day. <clears throat> Top two. Are you happy with your top two? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm quite happy. Really? I'm happy with it. Yeah, Zunes B and Debra. You are bringing in your ex slash baby mama to talk to your potential future girlfriend. Hey, we get along that well. We have a civil relationship and a nice, so we're good. That actually says quite a lot and about you. I trust you. their opinion, so yeah. I'm not sure what I'm Eric, he is turning 10 this year. Well, me and Eric are very close, like I won't lie to you guys. I reckon mm -hmm. since you're here, <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have asked you to be here yeah, if you were saying it's not normal. Mm -hmm. We are very close. Uh, there's a point whereby if I need something from him, mm -hmm. I call him. He's the first person that I call. Something like what? Uh, it depends. It's a lot of things, not favors, sexual favors, no. <laughs> not, that. not like that as well. I wasn't even yeah, thinking that far. Yeah, I call him anytime. I want to understand if, are you the jealous type? Can I ask you something? <laughs> can I, can I, yeah, you, can I, do you have a partner? Yeah, I do have a partner. How does your partner feel about you calling your ex anytime? Anytime. Yeah, yeah when I there's something you important. Anytime. Yeah, anytime. Okay. When I need something from him. That's important. Or when it regards my son, okay. even at 2 a.m. Look, you share a kid at 2 a.m. if it's regarding the child, I don't see how that mm. would be a problem. Yeah, I wouldn't because say that's Nami, a problem Because well. I, I have the same relationship with my baby daddy. Like I said, I have a kid as well. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. The fact that you all know that the girlfriend is there and you respecting the girlfriend, I think if we have a common ground that you know you can respect our relationship, then everything will be cool. No friendship, but then she will play her, her role, I will play my role. But you must know that I won't call you first, right? It's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Another question is, <laughs> if Eric buys me an expensive gift, for example, it's my birthday, and then he buys me something. I don't have a problem with him buying an expensive gift for, for Mother's Day present, if I'm also getting an expensive gift. Are you, do you guys have a problem with that? We'll buy you an expensive gift, <laughs> honey, baby. <laughs> if she now respects my relationship, with the ex, and I will respect her as well. So I want to say good luck to both of you. Nice meeting you. Yes, that's yeah, nice to meet you. Yes, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. He's going to be our okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like that about him, the fact that he's, he's a hands-on father and he's responsible and he has an amazing relationship with both his baby mamas. That's, that's for me, that's a plus. So, how did it go? I think you should go with Griffy, um, right? Based on the conversations, 
with the children based on her opinion as well and based on the you know the conversations we had earlier at this point in time i'm looking for one with an easy personality so how did it go i think you should go with um griefy way Oh, yeah, I think you should go with Why? Why? Because I didn't like the way and Tavisang was dressed. Mm. Yeah. And I don't want such and that's it. I'll be very happy for him. If I'm a tuntumazan him tandayo, as um nayegela, as um respect. So, um what did you like about uh, Gimel? She's she's nice, she's polite. Huh? And she she's not what? <laughs> she's not okay. she's not <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the reason why I like her. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks and for she's assisting. well behaved as well. Ah, thanks for you know, your son is like ten, so you know. Mm. I, I, yeah, who's this? Hey, it would be great to take them both, but hey, man. <laughs> One woman is stressful enough. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. So, I'm very curious to know how the not so awkward conversation <laughs> with the, the trusted ex went. Like, it shows that they have a strong relationship, and I believe that. It will carry on like that, and we need respect. She, she's a nice person. She was really concerned about her child, and I get where she's coming from because we're bringing our kids together. Okay, surprise, oh surprise. Yeah, now I'm going to ask for Usungaye, Lomundu Song, Esim Hambele, and I'm Sanje, but Eric knows his non to come and join us up here. Elimination time. <laughs> I've never been nervous as I from the beginning. Welcome back. Good to see you again. So, Sister Ndobego, how was your conversation with the top two ladies? It was okay, it was great. I got to know them. And you feel a little yeah. at ease. Yeah. All right, well, it is the final elimination. Uput Eric, it is his choice who he will go home with today. I'd like to allow you ladies just to have one final word to Eric, one final plea anything you'd like to say before this big decision is made? I would like to say that it has been a very interesting day. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. I enjoyed our conversations. And whoever you choose, it will be somebody that you feel like you're connected with more. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you. The experience is definitely for the brave-hearted. Enjoy the experience as well, and may the best woman win. That's all I can say. <laughs> I was just waiting for him to actually just say, Kini, you're the one. True. It's a difficult one. Um, so, based on the conversations with the children, based on her opinion as well, and based on the, you know, the conversations we had earlier, I feel like Ntambi dominated me a little. Not that I'm afraid of a challenge, but I just feel that me and Kini are a lot more compatible. I'd like to, to pick her for the date. Kini is great. Um, love her personality. Uh, beautiful, short, like complexion. Just the way I love her. <laughs> I think we got along quite well. There were some smiles there and there. Not to say you didn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna take care of you, babe. Before it gets too personal, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. We wish you nothing but luck. And utando uh, liya zagwena Awesome, thank you. Nice meeting you. Enjoy your day, all the best. So awesome. nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Bye. Awesome. They basically what they're looking for. Like he, he, he found something that he's looking for in her that obviously he didn't find in me. And I respect that. I just hope that they'll be happy and I wish them all the best. Well, well can I get a hug for my man, please? No, not yet. Oh, can you okay. hold your horses? <laughs> You've won. Sorry, but I just wanted a hug for my man. That's all. But I'm okay. very happy for you. <laughs> just want to know, Gigi today, and I can't believe it. 
and it looks like it's gonna be fun. We'll invite you guys to the parties. Behave. <laughs> We'll try. Don't, <laughs> don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Okay. <laughs> Can I get a hug now? Oh, yeah. Thank sure. you. Okay. <laughs> yes. mm. So, yeah, looking forward to the date, Jay. Eh? Are yes. you excited? I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to, to our next date. Kids, marriage. <laughs> we'll see. Do my love talk, okay? Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, boo. I'm glad you agreed to go on a date with me. Oh, Eric, Uzeg with single parents looking for love and in close Oyoktola Umundu that he can build a future with. Even though he was divorced to the mother of his kid, he has learned a lot from his mistakes and is ready to give love another shot. Was it love at first sight, Nogini? Nata says, Eskwazi Yonje Uguti, these two seem like they have a lot in common and they're really into each other. Another job well done by the single parents team. Is it a perfect match? We'll have to wait and see. Join us again next week on our journey to find intimacy and companionship. If now Funufana no put Eric and you're a single parent looking for love, please contact us on the details on your screen. From my heart to yours, good night, South Africa. Yeah, I think we got one. Take that, take that, take that.